After one year off, I'm back in Alberta, River Bruins Outfitters. I've hunted with Luke for five or six years. Missed last year we were in New Zealand, and I am ecstatic to be back here this year. We're just off the shores of the Peace River, and this feels like spring bear hunting. It's a little bit later in the year. It's getting close to June. The mosquitoes are out. The first thing we did when we woke up this morning is treat all of our brand new Predator camo gear with Sawyer, Permethrin. It's a lifesaver without it. I don't know how you do it out here, but this is what bear hunting's all about. This is a bait that hasn't been sat in a couple weeks, but we know there's activity. The crib's been getting hit every day. It's that time of year when the boars are cruising for their sows. So you're not gonna get a whole lot of consistent activity with bears coming to the same bait every day. They're kind of running just like a whitetail would looking for a hot doe. So we're looking for the sows and we think we have some here just by the size of the tracks. So we decided to hunt here tonight. We've got the stealth cams on a few other bait sites to see what's coming in. This is our first night in Alberta and I'm just happy to be here. This is a pretty cool little spot. Like I said, we're only a few feet off the shore of the Peace River. There's bears out here that have never seen human beings before. In a spot like this, you never know what might show up. First bear of 2016. Actually looks like a little boar to me, but way too small. It's an absolute riot to watch him work though. I love it. This was spring bear hunting's all about. That's exactly what it's all about. Our day's coming to an end. We probably have 20 minutes of light and we still have one little guy up in a tree. He's gotta be 40 foot up in the air. I guess that's what happens when you're the little one, but we had four different bears come to the bay tonight and it is just an absolute ride to watch them work. They're so smart, they're so curious. And sometimes they're pretty aggressive, but all in all, day one was a success. We've got a few more nights. Alberta bear hunting, it doesn't get any better than this. This segment is brought to you in part by Matthews Archery. Catch us if you can. It's our third evening here in Alberta with River Bruins. Last night we got back in the same stand we were in the night before. We figured because that saw was hot, she might bring in a bigger boar, but we ended up seeing the same four bears and we actually saw that saw get bred at the very tail end of, of the evening, right before it got dark. So now we're in a, a new spot. It's pretty unique. This was an old moose camp from who knows how long ago. There's an old picnic table, some chairs, some junk that was left behind, but it was a cleared out area. Somebody established a bear bait here and Luke found it a few years ago. Bear baits that have been established tend to draw bears year after year after year. So we've got good bears coming in here. We've seen a lot of sign. We are literally on the bank, on the shore of the Peace River. You can't ask for anything any better. You know, I shoot left-handed and most of the time when I go to an outfitter, it's set up for right-handed shooters. So nearly every time I get in the stand, I have to trim. Now these little Hoyman clippers are pretty awesome what they can't chew through. 
this saw blade can, and that means everything to get some of these bigger branches when you can't just clip them, but uh, always in my bag. I never leave home without it. I would have had a heck of a time today if I wouldn't have brought this thing. This segment is brought to you in part by Vapor Trail Bowstrings and Drop Away Rests. Quit your crying. Got out of here. I had no time for a shot, so 
more bag here for him. So uh, with any luck, maybe we'll make it happen tonight on day four. Closed captioning is provided by Vortex Optics, the force in optics. I can't shoot. 
That's a bear we were after. <laughs> we saw that bear last night. We couldn't get a shot. I passed five or six bears today. <laughs> and he had done five feet from the base of my tree. He actually texted me. <laughs> Here he comes. And the cubs can go straight up that tree. He actually texted me when he heard the death moan. He heard it from across the river. So this is going to be about the shortest track job I've ever had. Let's get our hands on that bear. Bear down. <laughs> Thanks, man. How cool was that that you heard the death oh, moan from all across the, the river? All the way across the river. The second he moans, all of a sudden I get a text and I can hear it on my phone. I'm like, he says, he done. <laughs> bear down. All right, let's go check him out. Uh, that's definitely the shortest track job I've ever had. Oh, he's a pretty good bear, huh? Figured he's a six and a half foot bear, or so. This is the first bear I've ever killed with a blaze. It's not a huge blaze, but it's got markings on its chest. It's pretty cool when a plan comes together. We couldn't get a shot at this bear yesterday. Came in, passed a lot of bears to get to him, and finally did. So, starting to get dark. We've got, I don't know, about an hour boat ride back. Let's get him loaded up, maybe uh, take a few shots on the shore. Get him back to camp. For sure. Thank you, sir. River man. Bruins, man. I appreciate it, Byron. You're the best. Thank you. If you'd like to see behind the scenes footage and photos from today's episode, make sure you check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.